Greetings once again, my dear friends. Welcome back to Alan Wake 2, the final draft. So, I was just watching um, the Summer Games Fest for 2024, and Night Springs is a thing, and is coming out tomorrow-ish. Actually, it's probably later today. Anyway, inspired me to uh, get back to the final draft. Saga is investigating her former home, the Lighthouse Trailer Park, where she lived with her daughter Logan before Logan mysteriously drowned. Except, Logan didn't drown. Saga never lived in Watery. What's going on? for the Anderson trailer? Don't seem affected by the horror story like the other locals are. Do they know what's happening here? Better than anybody. How do you know about the story? <clears throat> Same as you, of course, sweetie pie. We are family. The Andersons. Vikings. Gods. It's so good to finally see you, Saga. I am your great uncle Odin, and this is your long lost Mordefrive, Thor. Sarasoka. <laughs> he is your grandfather, and I am the old father. <laughs> <laughs> Just as crazy as everyone else. Just as caught in it. Nah. I need to stay focused. I need to check out the trailer. Tor and Odin are actually marginally less crazy than everyone else. We don't want to keep you from your business. You can come see us anytime at our resting place, Valhalla Nursing Home. Your name is Anderson? Same as you, kiddo. Tor Anderson, Odin Anderson, the old guards of Asgard. That's our band. You're. You are Saga Anderson, goddammit. A Viking goddess. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Tor, Odin, Saga. All Norse inspired. Plus the same last name. 
A coincidence? No. Did the horror story change their <clears throat> names to match mine? No. So, do you know where the Anderson trailer is? Right behind us. We've been looking after it since you left. Uh-huh. Thanks for your help. Anytime, kiddo. It looks like you two have had a bit too much fun. She sees right through us, bro. <laughs> she has the power. This calls for a fucking celebration. Our little saga all grown up and finally home. Sure, we've had a few sips. Just a taste. The famous Anderson Moonshine. Oh, the nectar of the gods. You want some? No, thanks. You'd probably do us some good, actually. Have you seen any strange people in deer masks? I haven't drunk enough for that yet. <laughs> you can see all sorts of wonderful things when you make your way down the bottom. Even more so with just one eye. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, I don't think you'll be able to convince Saga to gouge her eyeball out. But, uh... Let's go on a lunch bug hunt. Lunch bug hunt. To the bus soon, brother. The Rusky is itching to leave us behind every chance he gets. Ah, we got time. Blum wants to stay on our good side. Yep, there we and go. And another lunchbox. You can overcome adversity and achieve your goals. Well, that's a nice message. Don't think I really need the torch right now. I'll catch you fellas later. Who cares? Yeah, you did. That depressing tango shit is bad for your head, bro. <laughs> Too much truth in it. Drags me down. Hero's tango is uplifting. Music for the soul. Mm. Just have a bit of an explore and ransack of everyone else's places. Because they're not here, and I am. And Tor and Odin aren't going to rat me out. They're family. They wouldn't do such a thing. Hello, Yako. Wow. This is an incredibly attractive martial arts master. It's me, your brother, Ilmo. I now recognize you, but Ilmo, why are you dressed like that? Deer fest is almost here, which means we're got <laughs> chopping the prices on all of our custom designed Deer Fest parade floats. Floats created by the award winning team at Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. Winners of last year's trophy for Best Deer Fest Float featuring an animal that is not deer. That very team. And you're gonna get a kick <laughs> out of our latest float designs. <laughs> We've done it all. Deer Fest floats, restaurant floats, floats shaped like things we can't show on television. <laughs> Our floats are the best way to impress your friends, propose to your partner, or throw shade at an office colleague. And we don't do just Deer Fest. Our floats are a perfect gift for weddings, birthdays, or mitzvahs, or your gonna Our floats will punch up any special occasion. <laughs> but why take our word for it? Let's hear it from one of our many, many happy customers. I was at Deer Fest last year. Flows were pretty good. One of them was a swan. And that was the people liked it. And there you have it. Award-winning boats now at reduced prices that will... Knock you off your feet! <laughs> Order yours today. Ha <laughs> ha.
Ah, Elmo and Yako. There's something wrong with both of them. I feel bad for these guys. But they are funny. Well, hey, loot. Alrighty. And of course, it's all flooded. Everything's all flooded. I can't open this with my bare hands. Hello? Is anybody in here? No? Good. I'll just ransack your little dwelling and steal everything. Spend some time listening to your radio. Well, no hickory teriyaki ba um, bacon, no hickory teriyaki jerky or bacon. Dear Mom, as promised, I'm writing to you now that we've settled in. We're doing great and busy as ever. The big city. Jim's working hard and landed a promotion. 
We're going to celebrate by going to a hot new restaurant that Connie recommended. Laura's doing well in school. She'll have her pick of any college with the grades she's been getting. So proud of my little girl. I've been busy making our apartment into a home, training staff, and shopping for furniture. Who knew finding a decent chaise longue would be so hard? All going well, don't you worry about us. Hope all is well with you too. Love, Megan. Well. This is not the big city. So either that was the recipient of the addre of the letter, or more likely whoever's sending it is wanting to lie to their mother about how things are really going in this little cesspit called Watery. I mean lovely little town called Watery. I mean, it's not bad. It's just a bit, well, damp right now. And it looks like Saga needs to get equally damp. No? She's not going anywhere. Fair enough. In that case... Is there profiling to do? No. Twenty fragments. Automatic fire. Mm, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Shotgun. Auto fire with the shotgun. And I'm not really using the sword off. Hmm. Anyway, let us see. Case board. Doesn't make sense. Ha! Okay. Tor and Odin have the same last name. Boxes. Nursery rhymes. And now back to the story. Hmm. 
That's a for later thing. Great! Wonderful. Well, this is the trailer anyway. Clearly, it says Anderson. An architectural mystery by Margaret Formo. And the plot chickens. Because I know you love a good pun from Ilmo. A pun book from Ilmo. Are we close in the story? That might explain some of his behavior. There's probably worse people to be close with than Ilmo. Did I leave the Bureau in this fictional reality? Agent Anderson, our deepest condolences for your loss. The Bureau knows it's an incredibly hard time for you. I personally can assure you we are committed to your well-being and will allow the time needed for your recovery from this tragedy. The FBI is here for you. We'll be ready to re welcome you back to work as soon as you're ready. We could really use that insightful mind of yours, so we hope to see you back in our ranks soon. Warm regards, Supervisory Special Agent Stacy Marrow. Hmm. Yes, well. Something about the water. Yeah, Tor and Odin have definitely been hanging out here. Addressed to me. Looking after the place. From years ago. Wake was right. The horror story is changing reality. Not just people's memories. This card has Mom's handwriting. A little bird told me that you it's your birthday, so be sure to give yourself some special treatment. I love you, Logan, Grandma F. Washington Power, Saga Anderson, Six Watery Lighthouse Trailer, Parkway, Unit 2, Watery, Washington. Uh-huh. $48. I don't know, that's a hell of a power pill. Yeah, it's a festy old looking bit of pizza. Everything here reminds me of Logan. Well, this could be her room. That's because this is her room. This is getting too real, too personal. Junior Federal Agent Logan Anderson on the wall there. Logan's Junior Agent Certificate. So cute. Bon. Logan used to love her music. The kind stranger, the very old house. The ribbon-hearted girl. Connie Chu, The Wildlife of the Pacific Northwest. The Nordic Tales book Mom gave to Logan when she was little. So what all kid needs is a good Nordic Tales folklore book. My newfound relatives. Cozy with the cult of the tree. And that's the clicker. In the hands of the cult, just like the page promised. Carlyval and Knights. That's the motorcycle club the Costello brothers are in. 
I'll take Odin and Tor up on their offer and visit their nursing home. Right after I find this biker workshop. Local girl drowns. Oh dear. That's not good. No. It's, it's not true. It's just a fucking story. It's not true. <clears throat> Logan's back home. She's fine. Fuck. She's at school. Son of a bitch. Mulligan is a cultist? What the fuck is going on here? I'm gonna duck back inside for a sec, just in case there was anything I missed. Because I know me, I miss stuff all the damn time. Night Springs, new season coming soon. Well, yes. To Logan, keep on shining, little rock star. Your proud great granddad and great grand uncle. Okay, now let's go and get Mulligan. Cheese his gratings. I don't know. Just disregard that. Come on, safe rooms are meant to be safe rooms and not meant to get horrible frights happen in them. Probably. I don't know. Maybe you are. Okay. Okay, up here and across the road. the back door into coffee world. Right. I will 
will go in there, but in a minute. Because I know that's where Mulligan and Thornton are. And I want to be where they're not and have a bit of an explore first. Then I want to have a look at the float. And I'm not delaying things at all. I'm just having a look. Jumping ahead of myself this several steps here, I think. Cultists. This is where they had the clicker, if it's still here. I need that's to find it. part of another ritual to get into the overlap, which I don't need to do right now. But uh, let's check a case board because there's actually stuff to do now. Ah, here we go. Huh, okay. script page hey stop right there <coughs> the shape stumbled out of the dark toward deputy mulligan thornton was doubled over coughing a chunk of cold pastrami caught in his throat bring it fucker mulligan fired thornton hacked the pastrami out of his windpipe opened fire with his partner the monster fell they kept shooting the thrill of domination. This was the cult of the tree. Not one tree. A forest. Secret knowledge in a deer mask. A last line of defense. yippee ki motherfucker. Bright Falls, fucking finest. They crept over, pulling out their flashlights. The horror. This is Monica from the tackle shop. An innocent woman. Thornton's pastrami came back up. Ah, good job, lads. Good job. Well, that's that. I feel like there's going to be a thing to open. And that's that. Yes, there's going to be... A lock. Combination lock or something somewhere. Empty. Hello, Thornton Mulligan, where are you? Hey, Elmo, I can't find the new door lock combination. Look inside the smiley coffee cup doesn't help me. Yako. Yeah, right. Saturday's sauna night is on. Sauna is good for the body and good for the soul. Huh. 
OOP in the assembly hall. Why would the Coskillers call an OOP an OOP? Locked. They must be in there. There has to be a way to get this lock open. Okay. You were a handsome deer. Yep, that's why someone took him as a trophy, I'm afraid, Saga. Someone saw him out in the wild, happened to have a gun with them, and was thinking, Oh, he's a handsome deer. I would like to take him home. didn't see that one. Okay, so that, and then that, and then that. Right. Fine. There we go. This is the cult hideout. It's quite well Their lit. Headquarters even? For there to be any taken in here as well. And there's coffee. And a shoebox that I can stash a bunch of crap in. basement. That light switch you found washed up at the lake is not junk, it's fucking important. Trust me on this. From now on, whenever we catch a target, we're going to cut out its heart, stick this thing inside and flick it. I know it sounds weird, but just trust me, it'll be like a ritual. This is going to work. The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. They do that. This will be handy. Mark the map like you asked. That's all the stashes by our last count. Locked and loaded and ready to go. That's it. The Nightingale ritual wasn't completed. I'm not trying to play the blame game, but we, we cannot let random tourists walk in right into one of our rituals. We were stopped before we got to use the clicker. Hell, the lights weren't even set up yet. It's unacce unacceptable. So let's look at the learnings. We need to be faster with our setups. We need to be 100% positive someone is on lookout duty. Communication, communication, communication. 
Slip-ups like this are why we have FBI agents snooping around, which is not great. I'm only being harsh about this because I know we can do better. The cult isn't well organized. <coughs> People aren't following orders. Read to Ev, to whoever has been sabotaging Lake House equipment, stop it. If you're looking for ways to help the cult, this is not it. Unless bringing the feds down on us, down on us, is what you consider helpful. In which case, you can fuck right off. Stay away from the FBC, and if you see them poking around again, report it to the Grand Master. This is the cult's process. Their ritual. Ritual for Taken. Surround the target, subdue them, use hammer or other blunt object to restrain, carve out their heart, recite the words, put the clicker into their chest, flick the switch twice to make sure it works, remember floodlights on tripods, we need to see what we're doing, always work in pairs. <coughs> well... Observation report. Subject, the Cult of the Trees. Summary, intermittent surveillance of the paracriminal group, known as the Cult of the Tree, shows that their operation is limited to a small area of Washington State. The group is reported to be made up of dedicated individuals equipped with only common tools. Overall level of organization is low. Overall comprehension of redacted is low. Our assessment yielded a category orange risk status. Further inquiry should be made as to the exact details and sources of their knowledge regarding paranatural elements. Investigation Unit recommends the Cult of the Tree be kept under permanent surveillance with preparations made for the group's arrest and seizure of assets. See file 85-21-1027 for full report and recommended action summary and full report to be forwarded to Dr. Marmont at Dr. Marmont at the Cauldron Lake Research Site as both operate in a shared area. Addendum recommended action downgraded to continued intermittent surveillance, no arrest due to prioritization of resources. Yeah, you were right. Those, these sneaky fuckers are watching us and our level of organization is fine. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. <coughs> this is one weird cult. <coughs> We are the cult of the tree. We watch in the night. I see it now. This is our mission. Make the woods scary again. It's a tree. It's a spruce tree. Keep them out. Keep them safe. Together we are a forest. Cult of the tree. Rose. She's that waitress from the diner. She is. Rose Marigold Observations. From the 21st of March, 2014. 6.35, leaves home in car. 6.46, arrives at Odia Diner. 7 a.m., opens restaurant. 9.44, spills a cup of coffee. Stares at coffee puddle and seems suddenly delighted. Begins talking animatedly to the puddle. Observer not in diner, did not hear her. 11.30, goes on break. 12.04, back from break, ate a sandwich and wrote in a notebook. Couldn't see text. 1.21, stares at ceiling fan for approximately 50 seconds, smiling. 3.05, leaves Odia Diner on foot. 3.08, stops at pier and writes in notebook. Stares at clouds and becomes upset, shaking her head and speaking up at the sky, not close enough to hear. 4.23, leaves pier. 4.25, arrives at car, enters. 4.34, arrives home. 4.52, watches TV. 5.45, cooks dinner. Macaroni and cheese, watches TV while eating. 9.21, goes to bed, reads the sudden stop. 10.05, turns off light. A fuse. Could come in handy. That will be useful. Okay. A crack. 
creepy basement. Well, if you're gonna have a basement, and you're gonna be in a weird, freaky horror game, shit, better make it a creepy one. There was another overlap here in Watery. The parade float was the key. Mulligan and Thornton had gone there, taken the clicker, left this monster here to stop her. There's an overlap here, like there was at Cauldron Lake. Mulligan and Thornton are like Nightingale. Inside, waiting, and a parade float is the key. Saga had read about it, the trap. <coughs> the moment she saw the giant, she knew she wasn't ready. You let Logan drown. The weapon it carried could crack her skull like a brittle egg, brains leaking out like yolk. Everything she loved, lost. Everything she was, lost. We will watch it eat your mind. Reading this made her sick, but the fear was sharp when she faced it. There was another overlap here in Watery. The parade float was the key. Mulligan and Thornton had gone there, taken the clicker with them, left this monster here to stop her. Ah, uh, giant does not sound good. Taken is upstairs. This was a trap. No shit, Saga. But, hey, it's a trap with a save point that's just sitting right there. So it's not all bad. That, you absolute bastard. The overlap formed around Watery's dark past. The ritual to enter was tied to crafting the float. Art was the key. It had the power to let Saga in. At Cauldron Lake, giving the poem and the heart to the witch sign, open the overlap. Here, it's the parade float. But it's incomplete. Is this the parade float the page mentioned? It absolutely is. Ilmo stood in front of the parade float, turned dramatically to his crew. Now, imagine the murderer's arms moving. Stab, 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 and then Naki laughing. Everyone at Deerfest always plays it safe. Not us. This monument to Watery's history, this work of art, will sweep this year's awards. The overlap formed around Watery's dark past. The ritual to enter was tied to crafting the float. Art was the key. It had the power to let Saga in. <laughs> this 
is one disturbing parade float. Stabbing again and again. That must mean the arm's supposed to move. How come one of them is wearing a mask and the other isn't? There's okay. another lunchbox. There is indeed. Right here. Must be so exciting to be the story's hero. Honestly, I'm a bit jealous. I wish I could be the protagonist of something. Not long to wait, Rose. Not long to wait at all. Now even Tapio knows about Logan. It's not good when Tapio knows what's going on. Now we need a mask. Profile the deputies. Mulligan and Thornton were fine earlier. How did this happen? Terrible mistake. Shadows crept over Mulligan and Thornton. Shadows on their faces, filling the shape of them. Bright Falls fucking finest. Shitty pastrami sandwich. Mulligan and Thornton became like Nightingale. Well then. Mulligan and Thornton are members of the cult. Who's the leader? Brains leaking out like ilk. 
the thrill of domination. Not one tree. A forest. The world. <coughs> a secret like this doesn't die. There is more than one leader. Well, more than one leader. Good lord. Shouldn't spend time on old questions. Okay. <laughs> no, Logan's not dead. Logan's part in the story seems pretty extensive. Some real really. things are mixed in with the fiction. Doesn't matter. It's not real. It's not. Doesn't look right. <sighs> Where the hell does this go? Cult psychology, maybe? Cult symbols. There we go. Okay. Ah, that's okay. Nah. Missing from the parade float. A mask I need to put movement. it together. <laughs> we'll get there though. thing on the floor. Okay. Masks? Why can I not grab one of those masks? Maybe. That would seem logical. 
or that one. That's a mask right there. What's the better it's downstairs? it needs to be one very specific mask not just any old mask So this is the Koskala Brothers oh. parade float. Looks okay. like only four pieces are <coughs> missing. The mask is the only one without a location listed. Hmm. I haven't found this piece of paper. Gift shop. Easy. Oh, uh, the Puka knife's been done. It's been added. Motor controls, circuit Espresso board. Express. Got it. Right. I'll have to go there. I can't make out what it says. Fair trade fun zone. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Float killer isn't wearing a mask. Maybe he needs one. Should the characters be moving? The materials listed for the parade float mention a mask. Where is it? Poor Mocha Moose. He never failed to amuse me. Now we know, Ilmo, there is such a thing as too much coffee. Mocha will live on in a place of honor. He lost his head. Mulligan and Thornton had one job. Mulligan and Thornton must know where the moose skull mask is. The mask is missing. Where is it? The dead brought back to life. The crown of the Grand Master. No stink is never a mistake. Just get it fucking done. They know where it is. 
I know they know. Where is the mask? well in coffee world okay well looks like we're heading back to coffee world I saw something like I did in cauldron lake the well here in coffee world I know the moose skull will be there but first we're taking a brief break I shall return shortly Alrighty, back to Coffee World. Broken door. It's here. Me. I made them show me. <sighs> Shitting. That's the mask, anyway. Now I need to bring the mask to the float. I should probably do that now. <laughs> the moose skull goes here, obviously. <laughs> okay, now. Mask was at the well. Whoa. The moose mask appeared on the well. Okay. Now it's Espresso World, but I need, I think, Espresso Express, that thing, this way. I think this is the thing I need the control board from, pretty sure. My cat seems to be telling me as well something. Who knows what she's saying. She's a cat. No power. Must be a fuse box around here somewhere. Fuse box. I have a fuse. Fuse box. <coughs> the fuse is missing. Can't operate the ride without it. Now it has a fuse. Damn thing sounds like it's breathing. Come on. Oh, 
There we go. <coughs> I would not feel remotely safe doing this. And that's without Taken and weird reality altering lakes and entities and shit. That's just... I wouldn't want to be crawling around the innards of a machine. Good thing no one was writing that. I remembered that happened. And I would be worried that something like that would happen, quite honestly. Ooh. Thank you. I'll have that other manuscript page. The killing of Monica Thompson was a terrible mistake. Thornton blamed Mulligan's itchy trigger finger. Mulligan blamed Thornton's shitty pastrami sandwich. Yeah, it's obviously the sandwich. It wasn't their fault. No one will find her corpse. We'll hide it. They fed the body to the maw of a crumbling well, like the murderous Huatari brothers did long ago. Well, if they lied to everyone. If you've the got a local out, murder well, a secret it's like this a doesn't shame die. to not use they it. Grew inside them, like cancer, the darkness taking over. Filling the shape of them. Not that I'm condoning murder, mind you, I'm just saying. Speaking of murder, I think Saga might have just executed the coffee, um, the Espresso Express. something to get those arms moving. Okay, Saga. Let's get the clicker from these assholes. Overlap time again. Bottom of the murder well saga. Would be my guess. Now you can start wondering where you are. 
This is not the murder well anymore. Mulligan and Thornton in the wreckage of the morgue. Shadows on their faces. Thornton did his best woman's voice. I'm a stuck-up FBI bitch. I'll make a big fucking mess and get these dumb backwater cops to clean it up. Thornton turned to his partner. These government motherfuckers. Next time, Mulligan, I'll tell her. You got no clue. You let your own kid drown. You're a fucking fraud. Mulligan leered. Pinning the murder on the bookers would have fixed this whole <coughs> goddamn mess. But their kind always sticks together. I reckon we should show the bitch who's boss, Thornton. Shadows crept over Mulligan and Thornton. Inside them, they grinned. <sighs> Damn it, lads. You could have just been reasonable human beings, but no. Pinning murders on innocence is never a good thing to do. Even if it may be convenient. Stuck up at the other bitch. Look, I heard that. But the annoyance is sharper. Oh, look, come on, the pair of you. Hey, look, I'm trying to wreck on that, all right? You got it. She didn't drown in the well, Logan. she drowned in the lake. No, wait, she didn't drown at all. Okay, so we're down in the murder well, inside the murder well. The story is trying to take Logan. I can still stop this. I need the clicker. this way in the other overlap. It's a loop. Just like before. Well, it looks like a loop. Get looping around.
trial again. This is a nightmare. Oh. I can't get through that. I need to look for another way through. No, there's, there's no going down the murder well that's full of blood. Ha ha! Follow Artie singing. Well, we found a tent and an ASCII with a bandage. Shit! That better. What the hell was taking so long to reload? It's a loop. Just like before. Well, it looks like a loop just like before, as I'm sure I said. Skella stood in front of the small gathering I've of missed this one before. and bikers. He read from a piece of paper. Mocha was a wonderful moose who deserves a place of honor in the hall of the Calavella Knights. His skull will become the crown of the Grand Master. The dead brought back to life. There was polite applause. After the service, <coughs> Emma had the body hauled off to be turned into moose. <coughs> Mulligan and Thornton were told to get the head cleaned. They both grabbed an antler. What the hell, Thornton? I got it, Mulligan. They brought the skull into the workshop to boil it and bleach it. They grumbled. Wanted to just get it fucking done. It was just a stupid animal. But I guess moose steak is never a mistake, huh? Having never had moose steak, I can't comment. Just to make sure it's still the same sauna. It's still the same sauna. Okay.
Okay. Now we're ready. For any amount of lunatics this that might nightmare. want to be thrown. I can't get me. through that. I need to look for another way through. I love the god rays from nothing, or maybe the moon, but it, it's just cool. It's a nice effect. Search the Esky. Oh, battery. Excuse me. Did you know that you had a crossbow bolt right through your head just there? Oh well. Seem to take an awful lot of shooting. Okay. Okay. Going 
down. <laughs> Time for a wee bit of shotgun. Trapped? How? What does that mean? But Alan, clearly you're out of there. How can you be trapped? rather violent entry. A little bit door chargey. But that's fair. anything from the shoe but I don't think I do. Ah, uh, some more crossbow bolts. Yeah, I forgot about these bastards being such bastards.
Damn it, damn it, damn it. Story, but has it now. It's the key to escape. What do you mean, escape? <coughs> You're already out. So is Scratch. Selfless. 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 making progress. I wrote to be the story's hero. Save her family. Save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? Yes, yes, you know it's working. You just need to keep going. Did you put my family in the horror story? I keep seeing him in overlaps, but he's already out. Are these visions coming from the past, when he was still trapped in the dark place? I have the clicker. I can stop this nightmare.
Wake said he could use the clicker to undo the horror story. I need to get back to Bright Falls, to Casey and Wake. I should check in with Casey. I should check in with Casey. But, uh... I think a better idea might actually be to check out the newly unflooded area of the trailer park. Because surely That is going to be the case. Come on, Casey. No answer. David. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Hey, this is David. Leave a message. David, can you call me back, please? It's urgent. Please. Why isn't David answering? Is Logan all right? How does this all work? Has the horror story already gotten her? Wake should know. The flooding's lowered. I should look around, see where the water was hiding. Get in here yet? I need something to cut this. Just a regular old key for that one. I'm an FBI agent, so it's fine that I'm breaking into my neighbors' houses. Please respond from James Johnson to Megan Johnson. Megan, just let me know you're okay, please. I miss you. I don't need to know where you are, just that you're okay. Just reply to me. You owe me that much. The keys from Tony Tannenbaum. I moved the keys somewhere. The flooding can't wash them away. The spot might be a bit harder to reach, but I'm sure you can get your hands on them just fine. Graphic novel idea from William Portman to Joel Skarsgård. Thank you for your proposal. Starlight Symphony sounds like a wonderful project and a very creative idea. However, our publishing house will unfortunately have to decline at this time. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> All the creative people in the world end up in uh, Bright Falls, it would seem. Or Night the Springs. It's a pleasant enough place to live, I suppose. But, you know. Apart from all the weirdness. So much weirdness. Hmm. 
No, I'm just saying reflection off the back of the mirror thing. child doll. Another one of those rhymes. Okay. The old fisherman had great luck. His catch at sea was beyond belief. The hungry guest found relief in the fisherman's bountiful truck. I feel like I don't have everything I need for that. But let's just say... like I don't have it. <coughs> but it's got to be around. If it weren't, uh, I feel like it, if it were around, it'd be closer. Maybe I do have it. Um, don't know. Old fisherman, catch at sea, hungry guest, fisherman's bountiful, bountiful truck. not right. Ugh. Nah. Doesn't look right. No. Doesn't make sense. Saga. Nope. Keep trying. Hmm. I don't know. 
I just don't know. One moment. Okay, let's try this again. a bit better. Getting quite the huh. collection. Okay. Starlight Symphony. Hair covering logo. Does hair do this in space? What is rocket connected to? Move foot out for better silhouette. In space, no one can hear you sing. Make text big. Maybe more eye-catching font choice. Comic book story idea. A literal space opera. A sci-fi musical with an alien love triangle. Murder mystery. Aliens meets rear window. Sunshine meets the sound of music. Musical plants drawn in black and white, negative colours, singing is rhyming, R rhythm is visual, break the fourth wall, go all out, this is going to be my best work yet. Actually does sound like a pretty cool idea. But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Maybe don't write that shit here. Shadow Bastard Wolves, great. Wonderful. I mentioned recently how much I loathe those shadow bastard wolves or shadow wolf bastards 
depending on which way around they are. Great, now I have to kill all of these Jesus. bastards again. I'm getting quite the charm collection. Why is there another point of interest in my trailer? What is it pointing out? Why is it interesting? Where's the artwork? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Do not know. Whatever it is, I'm sure I've looked at it by now. Yeah, I must have. <coughs> it is now time to leave Watery. Quick save first. Um, you know what? I'd, I'd rather not, guys, if it's all the same to you. Yeah. <coughs> Not gonna follow me out in the open, are ya? Sons of bitches. <coughs> this bridge got fixed quick. a couple of mascots just I don't think everything's okay in coffee world have you noticed I'm getting this like off feeling every night after work what are you having nightmares again like when you were a kid you need your security blanket you need blanky blankerson <sighs> you keep blanky out of this Yeah, a bit rude taunting her about Blanky. Because, I mean, she is onto something. Hello? 
Um, Okay, backing away slowly. Avoiding eye contact. And uh, let's head back to town. up your books come up you come up I've read them there are echoes of my life in there that makes me feel like someone's been watching me what happened to Alan Wake the unanswered mystery never expected to find you alive That's killing me. I think you like using people, Wake. Taking their lives and twisting them into your stories. And when someone gets hurt, it's kick-ass material for the next one. Shit! Spilled my coffee. I take it you're not a fan, then. Agent Casey. This is not your playground, and I'm not your fucking creation. It doesn't work that way. You can't make something out of nothing, even in a dark place where the rules hardly apply. It's very complicated to make fiction come true. I saw visions of what's happening. What will happen? Dreams. I try to use them in my writing. I understand how dangerous it is now. Even with a paralyzing amount of planning. I think I stopped writing. I think I gave up. But there's a manuscript. Maybe I forgot not to write. The dark place makes you forget. just want to fix this. Find a version of the story that fixes everything. Shut up! Get down! FBI! We want the writer! No one else needs to get hurt! Fuck off! Wake, you've got red on you. Rather a lot. What the fuck?
I had escaped the dark place. So had the dark presence. Scratch. It was here, in Bright Falls. I could feel him as a growing pressure in my head. Stronger by the minute. Why didn't he kill me with the rest? What did he want? I needed to find Casey. We were on the same side in this fight. Strength in numbers. I need to protect myself. A gun and flashlight. How nostalgic. A gun and a flashlight. Ha, ah, that takes me back. Now let's not go towards the gunfire just yet. Well, now I have no battery and no ammunition. Wonderful. These were the cultists the FBI were after. Were they letting themselves be taken? Or did the Dark Presence not discriminate? One whole round. That's going to be useful. The pressure in my head was unbearable. The scratch was getting closer. Stronger than ever. eased off. Scratch was further away. I could think again. Casey. Casey, I'm coming! Fuck. investigation the case has been transferred to us <laughs> this is bullshit noted we're moving the evidence and paperwork from your field office to our base of operation at the sheriff's station the other 
pieces of evidence with you? Anything relevant? The clicker. I can't trust them with it. Nothing comes to mind. Okay. Then your work here is done. Hey. You did well. Wait! My partner, Agent Casey's MIA. We'll look for He's him. my partner, damn it! Agent. I should be... Go home. Careful, moving quick. They think he's a para-utilitarian. No. Fuck this. I was so close to getting the clicker to wake. I'm not done here. Not until I find Casey. Not until my family is safe from this horror story. and Odin were in the photo with a the clicker. They might know how it works. I'm off the case, but I can still visit family. And that will do for the time being. Farewell for now. And I hope to see you again soon.